ankle taping with 50 mil rigid. I'm just going to carry on from the last demonstration, so I'm going to leave the under wrap in place and just tape over the top. I'm using a 50 mil rigid ad adhesive tape. Now we start off with an anchor. So the anchor is the foundation point for all our other pieces of tape. And we just simply take this around, around the calf. There's no tension on the tape at all. We don't want to pull that tape tight because otherwise we're going to cut off circulation to the bottom of the foot. Also notice that I've used a slight V in the tape application here. So I've followed the contour of the calf around. This not only makes the tape sit nice and, and flush with the skin, but it also helps that once you're running around and the muscles fill with blood, it can become quite uncomfortable and cut in. So putting it at this angle just reduces the chance of cutting in and making it feel uncomfortable. Next, we're going to start with our stirrups. You notice that when we're using 50 mil tape, we only use one anchor because the 50 mil tape is quite wide enough. So we're going to start our stirrups, starting from the inside. And we're going to have this sitting right back, close to the end of the heel. And then bring it around the other side, taking time to press it down and also making sure there's no creases and wrinkles and all sorts of stuff in the tape. You will then apply a second stirrup, overlapping by one half or a third to give it strength. Once again, make sure it's the right tension and take the time to secure it down. So we're only using two stirrups and we just notice that these bumps here on the ankle, they're both completely covered with the two stirrups. So they're supported. The next part of the taping is four figure sixes. So we're starting on the inside and we're coming around the front and we're just allowing the tape to sort of fall around the shape of the ankle, making sure once again there's no wrinkles and also making sure we're coming far enough forward to cover and support these ligaments here just below the bump on the ankle because these are ligaments that will get damaged if the ankle rolls. So we want to make sure the tape is far enough forward to support the ankle and reduce the chances of that uh, ankle rolling in. Our next figure six will start on the outside and follow the same sort of path as the other one coming up and around. Letting the tape follow. Don't try to, to force it too much. They don't like being told where to go too much. Just let the tape flow with the shape. Our third six will start on the inside again. and back around to where we started. Now just take the time to do the, the job neatly, make sure there's no creases and make sure that the tape is stuck down because as we said, tape only works when it's adhered to the skin. So there's no prizes for the first one finished and you'll, you will get quicker with time and practice. But it, the most important part is to make sure the tape is actually in the right place and stuck down. So we've done our anchor, we've done our two stirrups going from the inside to the outside, we've done our four sixes, so now it's time to lock the job off, just go over the top of those strips. Once again, this has got no tension on it because we don't want to put tension around the calf. We do a function test to make sure that the tape feels comfortable and that it is providing the required support. We check for circulation to make sure we haven't cut the circulation off and the job is done. To learn more about our sports taping courses, please visit our website 
at http colon slash slash sportstapingacademy.com. And if you're in the market for some good quality tape, we can offer you a 10% discount at www.victor-sports.com. Enter the discount code STA SAVE10 when placing your order.